Hi there. Now here we have a question then based on this discrete probability distribution function. So we've got to work out the constant k and then find the exact value of f of 5. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do so so far, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, in order to show that k equals 1 18th, what we've got to be aware of is that the sum sigma of all the probabilities, let's just say probability that random variable x equals any observed value, the total of those probabilities comes to 1. And so what we've got here is just the discrete random variables 2, 4, 6 and 8. And so when x is 2, you're going to have 2k as that probability. So we've got 2k plus, and then when x is 4, you've got plus 4k. And when x is 6, it's going to be plus 6k. But when it's 8, we've got 8 minus 2, which is 6, times k. So you've got plus another 6k, and that's going to equal 1. So it's just a question of totaling that up. And if you total it up, you're going to end up with 18k. 18k, which equals 1, and therefore k must be equal to 1 18th which is what we had to show. Now, for the second part, part B, we've got to find the exact value of this capital F of 5. Now, this is the cumulative probability distribution function. F of 5 means the probability of x being less than or equal to 5. So, for this distribution, what are the values that are less than or equal to 5? Well, they're just going to be the 2 and the 4. So this is the same as working out the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 4. And if we work those out, we know that when it's 2, we get 2k, and when it's 4, we get 4k. So it's going to be 2k plus 4k, a total of 6k. And we know that k equals 1 18th, so this is going to be 6 18th, and 6 18th reduces down to 1 third. Okay?